Hello friends and beautiful people. It is a beautiful sunny day here on the homestead and so we thought we would show you how we are setting up our Blue Eddy solar panels so that we can charge our Blue Eddy solar charger. So the Blue Eddy is a solar generator and we have been using it um, on and off for the past month or so just kind of testing it out to see how long it would last and how much of a load it would take and we've been running our um, the fan on our wood burner runs constant and we've spent an entire at least 12 hour day with the Blue Eddy uh, running it and not had a problem at all we've run the TV and lights and everything else and, and uh, we're pretty tickled with how long it lasts so I'm going to introduce you <clears throat> for his uh, on-screen debut the Hubster Hello. This is Joe. Hi. Um, and he's going to talk about how to set it up. Well, what we're going to do here is demonstrate how we're going to hook up all three of these solar panels uh, to the actual base unit so that we can pick up the uh, free electricity from the sun. And this is a great day for it. So, uh, what I will do is I'll start out here. These panels have already been opened and set up. So, what you end up doing is there's a couple connectors on it that come out of the unit itself. Okay, there's a red and a black lead. In order to hook it up so that it'll generate solar power, when you hook in the second one, you hook the black lead to the red lead on the second one. Okay, and it's connected with these two connectors. You can't hook it up wrong because they're designed that they only go one way. This one and this one uh, and it only fits together a certain way so in order to plug it in you just stick it in there like that now we got black to red off the first one going to the red on the second one uh, the, e the ease of disconnecting and connecting these I did want to show you that if you push those two little tabs in you can take it apart rather simply in order to put it away and to store it so there we go uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this We've got the black one and the red one here. We're gonna set up this panel. They come packed like this, three of them together, along with the base unit and a charger for a 120 hookup if you choose to charge them by plugging them into the wall so you can have them ready to go. I prefer solar. So you... Cause like your favorite commercial, it's free. It's free. <laughs> yeah, I hate that commercial. Anyway. <laughs> So you unpack it off the back. There's a couple quick clips. One, two. Make sure that you have it so the leg is down. So what you can do is you set it up like this. And believe me, I've set it up upside down once or twice, so it's not, not hard to do. So don't feel bad if you do that when you open it. So then you open up, you open up the legs all the way. They're Velcroed down like that. So you get them all down. Okay, pull your wires out. I try to straighten them out a little bit. It makes it, that way you can move your uh, Blue Eddy around a little if you choose to. Okay, so you got a red wire and we're here with nothing connected to it. Connect it to the black which leaves you a red and a black. And that's the way it should end up. Now on the Blue Eddy, there is a port on the, if you're facing it, it's on the left side. And it is the same as your, it's a dual purpose uh, plug. This unit here plugs into your wall charger. It plugs into the cigarette lighter thing, which is what this is part of they call this the DC charger but if you read the manual it'll tell you that this is also what you use for solar it has a little red dot on it you take the red dot you line it up with the red dot on the unit push it in make sure it's secure that's all there is to hooking that part of it up and then you come here and this is the only time that you plug in red to red and black to black so we got black to black and when you plug red to red in, 
If you come over here, you can watch the unit come on, which tells you it's charging. And there's the green light. So, now we are charging. Excuse me while I get on the ground here so I can see this thing. Might be smarter to put it up on something, but right now this is where it's at. Uh, as you can see here, we're pulling in the, about 156 to 132. It's bouncing around as far as current coming into the unit from the sun. So if you want to see exactly what's going on, there is a little, uh, I don't know what you would call it, a little icon or something here. You touch it, all right? So it's impulse voltage. So we're taking in 64 to 62 to 64 again. Volts coming in. Uh, input current is 2. Input power is 160. So it's collecting electricity at 100. It's coming in input at 160. Our fan and our big screen television only pull power out at about 65 or 70. So it's coming in at almost two and a half times faster than it would go out as far as charging. And uh, then you can go back. And on the screen here is an AC off and a DC off. If you want to turn your AC on, like for, for your television, you have to turn on the output. If you see here, it just went from 38 to 39%. So it's charging pretty quick. If you go to AC on, you put you hit on. Um, I don't want to do that now because I don't want to take any of the charging power off of it. So I will go back and just hit it off. And the rest of it here will tell you your data. You can go in here and look at what's going on. It's a real soft touch screen so you don't have to touch it uh, hard or push on it. You just have to touch it. So we're collecting electricity from the sun and it's free. <laughs> so. so talk a little bit about um, the steps that we have to use when we plug the uh, wood burner or a light or whatever into it. Oh, okay. I know you said that we um, there's a certain way you need to do it to keep from uh, messing up the machine. Well, what I do is is it's okay to turn it on. You hold the green button down for one second. The unit will start up. It'll take a little bit to start, and then this screen will be visible. If you want to turn it off, you push this button in for two seconds while it's on. It'll take a few seconds and then it'll shut down. That's the state you want it in when you start plugging things in. You can plug in your uh, 110 here. Uh, you can put in USBs to charge for your laptop and stuff. Um, you got a 12 volt plug in. Um, that's a, also, you can actually charge from this to a battery. Um, and I have not used any of these yet. And also, also on top, it has a wireless uh, uh, charging uh, pod. So you just lay your, uh, like your phone or something up here and set it up and it will charge your phone. I have not used that yet. So we are just in our infancy as far as using this unit, but I am really impressed with it and I love it because uh, I actually did plug it into two of our stand-up freezers and it was capable of running it and it was not really hurting it at all. So, uh, again, it's free. <laughs> well, and so when you are getting ready to use it for the stove fan, you need to plug the stove fan in first. Right. Plug and it. then turn the power on, right? Yes. Then plug this in first and then uh, turn the unit on. And then you'll have to go to the screen where it tells you AC, like down here, you'll have to go to the AC screen. It says AC off. And then you have to go there. While well, everything's plugged in, and turn it on. Once you turn it on, then the output starts. It'll run the fan. It'll run a lot of things uh, that you wouldn't think it would. Uh, it, is, it has quite a bit of uh, actually output power. But you're not supposed to plug those things in if the Blue Eddy is already powered on. Uh, that's the way I read the manual. Uh, don't hold me to that, but I think uh, the, the way that I've been doing it is the safest way, and damaging this unit would not be something that I would want to do. So. I make sure that everything's hooked up. The other thing it is, when the uh, solar panels are plugged in like this and it's charging, you're not supposed to disconnect it uh, at the lines that go into the panels. Uh, it says not to do that. So you need to power it off first. Power it off first. You can, okay. Or you can disconnect the cigarette lighter part of it, which will 
eliminate the product but don't unplug the panels I don't know why but that's what the manufacturer recommends not to do now right now I'm at 141 143 which means I'm not at optimal the other day I was getting 200 plus so I've got to go adjust my solar panels and then come back and take a look the thing uh, about it is you have to kind of keep an eye on it there is a tree with no leaves on it between the sun and the, the uh, solar panel so I'd imagine that's why I'm losing 60 percent right now but it is it will keep charging and again uh, I love this unit it really <laughs> really works well we are not paid sponsors no but we would love to be <laughs> <laughs> well uh, I'm not worried about that but I, I, I like the idea that we have an ability to generate electricity for our house without having to use gasoline or relying on propane or natural gas which we all know runs out eventually um, if you're using a gas unit and something like that uh, it can get rather expensive to to charge but um, we currently have two of these units uh, I convinced uh, my better half here that we have two because that way we have one while it's running and the other one can be charging and we can have power the only thing it doesn't have that a lot of other ones are is a 220 hookup but uh, you could have uh, we you can't afford that one you can have <laughs> yeah you can have this unit and a small gasoline driven uh, generator that would do 220 um, to run a, a well pump if you wanted to uh, but I'm not sure how that would work but anyway you would have power uh, for lighting and anything else that runs off a of 110 with this unit. Awesome. So thank you for joining us today, Joe, for your little debut as a YouTuber. And maybe we'll get him on here some more, friends. Um, like and comment below. And till next time, be blessed and be a blessing. <laughs>